Shares of Intel giving up some of its earlier gains after the company announced new AI chips in the works to compete with the likes of NVIDIA and AMD. Let's bring in Bernstein and Stacey Raskin now to discuss. So the stock was up and it's given a lot back. I'm not sure if you saw our own Christina Partzinevelos, you know, characterize this as kind of a non-event event. And there was like a meh. And even you in your notes, the first words I have from you on my page, eh. Like, okay, <laughs> expand on that. Yeah, look, so I, I think in the wake of AMD's event a week or so ago, people had a little high hopes for it because Intel really was positioning it as an AI event. This was a marketing event to launch their, their new chips for PCs and servers, is, is primarily what it, what it was, CPUs. Um, they launched their, I think they call it Intel Core Ultra, but it's their new meteor-like parts for, for ultra-thin notebooks. And they launched um, their Generation 5 Xeon chips, which is codenamed Emerald Rapids, which is a follow-up to the prior gen Sa it's Sapphire Rapids. It's basically like um, a bug-fixed Sapphire Rapids that's socket compatible. You can drop it right into the existing infrastructure. We, we knew this was coming. They already said they were launching these parts on December 14th. So there wasn't a lot new beyond that. And then in terms of like the, the real thing in AI that people care about on the accelerator front, they talked a little bit about Gaudi too, but I mean, they didn't give us anything new. It's already there. And, and they, he sort of said, look, we have Gaudi 3 now. It's out of the fab. We've got a chip that I can hold up in my hand, but it doesn't tell you anything. Um, and we know that part's coming next year anyway. So nobody's really going to get excited about PC chips and, and server chips, not in this environment. And, and that's why the stock gave up the gains. It was, yeah, what was the word I used? Eh? It, it was fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, but... It was, yeah, but, it was but, not as spectacular. But, but here's the problem. Here's the problem. Um, given what NVIDIA has done and now what AMD itself is doing, eh and fine aren't good enough, right? Well, I mean, it depends on what the story is. Um, uh, NVIDIA clearly is in the driver's seat here. If we're, we're going to shift to, uh, like, real data center, like AI and accelerators and everything else, NVIDIA is clearly in the driver's seat. Um, AMD, at least you know, at least they've got a roadmap with some products on it, and they were actually able to show us show them working. <laughs> right. um, Intel's got something called Gaudi. This is a product. Yeah, they bought a startup a few years ago called Habana Labs. That's where it came from. Um, they've talked about having a two billion dollar pipeline, quote unquote, for this. I don't exactly know what that means. They won't say how long is that pipeline for. How much of that pipeline do they expect to actually turn into actual orders? Like, we, we, we don't know. And like, I'll be honest, outside of maybe a few industry folks, like the general like person on the street, like they don't know what the heck a Gaudi is anyways. Right, right. But what about um, this? Because um, what about this? Christina um, emailed me just a second ago pointing out that AMD popped over 15 percent the day after, after yeah. emphasized its AI announcement, even though there was really no major news there either. <laughs> Maybe this is just one of those days where tech is underperforming the broader market, so we're reading too much into how a stock is performing in the moments after an event was held. Well, two things. Number one, I, I was a little surprised at the degree to which AMD itself popped, like in the day or two after, after that announcement as well. It was a bit of a delayed reaction, and the magnitude I found surprising. I mean, today, like, semis are actually outperforming a bit. Right, so semis are, are, are decent. Intel's up a little bit. It's it's underperforming the, the space, and I mean, I guess we'll see what it does over the next like you know a few days and weeks. But but again, I just don't think there were there was anything here that was perceived as surprising or remarkable relative maybe to what we've seen at least like with with AMD on, on the hope trade or or clearly with with Nvidia just given where their numbers are going. There wasn't anything. This was this was a CPU event. This was a, a PC and, and and server CPU event. That's what this was. By the, that's all it was supposed to be. They never said anything else that, that, about it. But if you look at their right. own press releases laying this out, it was it was to launch these two products. That's what they did. All right. All right. Well, we appreciate you being with us. Yeah, <laughs> you bet. Anytime. Yeah. Right. I get you.